up y'all so today I have a review for you guys on my Chanel I don't do a lot of reviews I don't I haven't done a review in a really long time I got the new Jeffree Star lip immunition if you don't know Jeffree Star came out with lipsticks yeah he did and when I saw that he was coming out with lipsticks because I follow him on snapchat I was super excited because I thought all these lipsticks were going to correlate with his liquid lipsticks if you watch my channel then you know I do not get down with liquid lipsticks I don't I feel like liquid lipsticks are really unflattering if you have any kind of lineage going on in your lip area I feel like liquid lipsticks only look good on people who are 20 or people who have a syringe of Juvederm in their lips if you do not have a syringe of Juvederm in your lips then liquid lipsticks make your lips look like you're fucking 90 like you're coming at somebody and all they see is your lips and they're like oh my god that bitch is 90 and then they look at your face and they're like whoa Whoa. I only got two shades of these, but when I asked you guys on Snapchat if you wanted me to do like a sole video of it, so many of you guys snapped me back and were like, yes, bitch, don't have video on it. We would like to see it. So I'm going to throw out a little bit of disclaimer, a little disclaimerage. Oh, also at the end, I do have two dupes for you guys and both of my dupes are under $5. Pretty sure. Pretty sure the one's under $5. I think it's $4.99. I think. Don't quote me on it, but they're both under 10, they're both under seven, let's say that. They're both under $7. So if you are not aware of what a dupe is, a dupe is not an exact replica that looks exactly the same in the exact same formula. So I know there's a lot of dupe police out there. A dupe is just something that is similar in formula and consistency and color, similar, similar, not exact, similar. Also, another disclaimer, if you do not like Jeffree Star, don't fucking buy his products. If you don't like that he's a horrible person and he did this and fucking my spaces and blah, 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 I don't care. I don't. I don't care. It's just fucking makeup. If you don't like him and you don't agree with the type of person he is, then don't buy his shit and don't watch videos about people that buy his shit. Okay? Speaking of Jeffree Star, he does like to jump the gun a little bit. Let's be honest. He jumps the gun a little bit when it comes to reviews and videos about him. So don't be coming for me in my comments, Jeffree Star. Don't be coming for me in my comments. It's just my opinion. Some people are going to have good opinions of your product. Some people are going to have bad opinions of your product. That's just what it means to be a businessman, a salesman. It means that some people are going to think it's shit. Some people are going to think it's the fucking greatest thing on earth. So... Now that all my disclaimers and my everything else and we're fucking five minutes into the video and I haven't even reviewed them yet, let's get into the review. If you don't know, these launched on Friday. They are Jeffree Star's lipsticks. Y'all know the deal. Like if you follow Jeffree Star and you know, you know he came out with lipsticks. As I said earlier, I totally thought that they were going to correlate with the liquid lipsticks and they do not correlate with the liquid lipsticks. There are only two shades that he came out with that are the like subsidiary or whatever of his liquid lipstick shades and that's the only two shades I got because if you know about this line and you know about the release you know there's a lot of pink lots of pink all the pink and if you watch me and you know me you know I don't get down with pink this bitch does not like the color pink I loathe the color pink I do not like it on my face I do not like it on my body I do not like it so I'll first talk about the shipping. It came in this cute little box, Jeffree Star, blah, 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 super cute box, lots of pink. Um, I ordered this, if you don't know, these launched on Friday. Today is, what is today? Thursday. So Friday of last week, these launched. I ordered them on Friday and they are coming from California and I got mine on Monday. Ordered them on Friday, got them on Monday. I was super stoked. I was like, oh my God, they're fucking here already. So props to Mr. Star for awesome shipping. Next up is the packaging. If you guys know me, you know I'm not a total packaging whore. Like I could give or take with packaging because I do not decorate with my makeup. I don't put it up on little shelves and like decorate with it and stuff. I put it away. When I get makeup, I put it in a drawer and I shut the drawer. I don't like decorate with it. So I could give or take with packaging. Like I could care less. I don't really care what the packaging looks like. It's just holding the shit in it. As long as the shit and the packaging is good, you can put it in a black box. I don't care. You know what I mean? But for those of you who are packaging whores, the, this is the box that was shipped in. As I said, super cute, super J star. These are the lipsticks. This is, these are the little boxes they come in. 
Um, I got the colors Unicorn Blood and Celebrity Skin, which is why I do not have any lipstick on it right now. As far as the bullet goes, the bullet looks like this here. It's got the little Jeffree Star emblem, little stars, little bullet. Looks like little bullet, super cute, super pink. Um, and then when you open it up, your lipstick is inside. Can you see? This one's Celebrity Skin. So let's just get down to the nitty gritty, shall we? We shall. So when I first got these in the mail and I opened them up, I'm not going to lie, when I took this out of the box and looked at it, I was like, oh, really? Like, I just paid $18 for this? Like, seriously? Because when I first opened it up, I was like, the packaging seems super, super chintzy, and I'm not going to lie, it kind of reminds me of, like, kids' makeup. Like, the packaging that kids' makeup comes in, but when I compared it to a MAC lipstick, it does have, like, the same... It's a little bit lighter than a MAC lipstick. It does have the same amount BT dubs because his lipsticks are 0.12 ounces and a MAC lipstick is also 0.12 ounces. The thing that really got me was the cap. Like I just felt like the cap was like super kind of like chintzy and flimsy. But when I looked at the cap of my MAC lipstick, I was like, oh, this one kind of feels light and plasticky too. But this one feels lighter. I don't know what it is about it, but it just feels different like it doesn't feel as high quality as my mac cap another thing that i didn't really care for in terms of packaging is the lids are very very loose so this one is unicorn blood and this one's celebrity skin the cap on celebrity skin is like a lot tighter but on unicorn blood like See what I mean? There's no way I could put this in my fucking purse. You put this in your purse and the cap's gonna come off and then you're gonna have fuzzies and receipts and like all kinds of crumbs and shit all over your lipstick and who wants that? I don't. Packaging's like not a deal breaker for me. However, even with that being said, I really don't like how loose the cap is because even to store it, I feel like it's gonna come off because I just like put my shit all together. My shit's not all like nice and neat and guru looking. Like it's thrown all in a drawer and I feel like the cap's just gonna come right off on this one as I said before celebrity skin no problem it's on there fairly tight the celebrity skin one is just about as tight as my Mac one so there may be some inconsistencies in packaging because of that so who cares about the packaging onto the formula because that's what you really want to know right that's what I want to know I want to talk about the fucking formula the formula of these really really remind me of like the OG wet n wild lipsticks you know what I mean like the ones that basically the ones like this which is one that I have a dupe for um the OG wet n wild lipsticks super pigmented super matte Jeffree Markets sees as a satin lipstick but I do feel like they're more on the matte side than the satin I feel like everybody's perception lately of what matte is is completely fucking skewed because of liquid lipsticks because liquid to matte lipstick is like so insanely matte that something like his lipstick that's not like a layer of matte crust on your lips is considered not matte but I feel like they're matte when you first put them on they do have like just a hair of a sheen to them but they do dry down to matte and just like the wet n wild lipsticks they dry down so well that they actually leave like almost like a stain on your lips they kind of like adhere to your lips if that makes sense so that is what's up with the formula I really enjoy the formula and in talking about the formula as far as the smell goes Mine, the two that I got, my two, Celebrity Skin and Unicorn Blood, do not smell like, I swear I saw him say that they smell like orange and cream or something like that. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but these like don't smell like that. They literally smell like the Wet n Wild lipsticks where there's not really a scent to them. They kind of smell like plastic. They kind of remind me of how those like dollar store, like little lip palettes that you get at the dollar store smell, they kind of smell like crayons. That's kind of what the smell reminds me of. However, even though that being said, once you put it on your lips, the smell is completely gone. It's not like a fucking L'Oreal lipstick where it smells like old lady and then you put it on your lips and all you can smell all day is old lady. It's nothing like that. So enough rambling, let's get into the swatches. So I'm gonna do live swatches on my lips on camera for y'all, just so you guys can see like the pigmentation, how they apply, you can see the physical application of the product. Um, that way you don't just see it on my hand, you can see how it actually applies to my lips. So this one is Celebrity Skin, I don't need to show you that, it's Celebrity Skin. So here we go, let's apply this bitch.
So this is what Celebrity Skin looks like on. As you can tell, I think it's matte. I mean, this to me is a matte lipstick. Again, as I said, he markets them as a satin, but I feel like they're a matte. Another thing with the formula too is, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but when you put it on, you do have to kind of like work it in a little bit because it is a very dry formula. So if you are somebody that does not like a dry, creamy formula, again, I'm gonna go back to the Wet n Wild lipsticks because these, really really remind me like i feel like the formulas between these and the wet and wild ones are almost identical the wet and wild ones are just a hair creamier and they're comfortable to wear they don't get on your teeth they don't feather so there's celebrity skin now for unicorn blood so this is what unicorn blood looks like in the tube super vampy super deep red well let's go ahead and apply this this is gonna look like shit bt dubs because it's a red lipstick and I got no liner. Oh, that's another thing too. I really like how they come to like a really nice point. It makes it really, really easy to apply them like if you don't have a liner. I keep looking at the viewfinder. Sorry, not sorry. So this is what Unicorn Blood looks like on the lips. Shoddy application, I know, but I don't have a liner and it's a red lipstick, so it is what it is. This color, I will say that I was just like a hair disappointed with because Unicorn Blood in liquid lipstick form looks way darker than what this does. It is really hard to replicate um, liquid lipsticks in lipstick form because I know liquid lipsticks dry down a lot darker. So as far as the formula goes, because they're so different, it is hard to replicate. But I feel like if you just took like a deep brown liner or like a dark liner and kind of feathered it in, then it would be more reminiscent of the actual Unicorn Blood. Same goes with Celebrity Skin. Like I feel like the Celebrity Skin lipstick is a little bit pinker just from swatches that I've seen online because I don't own the liquid lipstick um, subsidiary of these because I don't get down with liquid lipsticks. And just in case you're curious, these are the swatches on my hand. Here is Celebrity Skin and here is Unicorn Blood. So let's get into these dupes, shall we, bitch? Let me just reiterate that dupes are not exact replicas. They are just something that's similar in consistency, formula, and color. The first one is a lipstick by Wet n Wild and it is called Baradol. And it is this one right here. Chia. So as I said, I'm going to reiterate it again. They're not exact grappling cons. They're just similar dupes. No dupe police up in my comments. So this one is Bear It All. This one's Celebrity Skin. So Bear It All is a little bit more on the peachy side than what Celebrity Skin is, but when they're on the lips, they look super, super similar, almost identical. The next one is a lipstick by NYX in their matte lipstick range called Alabama. And I'm pretty sure I told you guys on Snapchat, like as soon as I got Unicorn Blood and saw it, I was like, oh, this looks just like NYX Alabama. So I was like, which one's which? <laughs> so this one right here, is unicorn blood and then this one is nyx alabama so the dupes i have are super similar no they're not spot on but they are under five dollars so if you're somebody that is not willing to spend 18 dollars on a lipstick you can get something super similar for under five dollars as far as the formula and consistency and wear time goes these are almost exactly in formula and wear time and consistency in the way that they look on the lips. They're almost exactly the same as what the Jeffree Star ones are. As far as wear time goes, because I think I forgot to mention wear time, I did go on Snapchat the other day. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, you should totes follow me on Snapchat. I'll put it right here and things and stuff. Um, I went on Snapchat the other day and I put it on at like 8.30 in the morning when I had to work and I was drinking. I don't think I ate anything before I got off of work, but I was like drinking out of a bottle all day, drinking my matcha. And at the end of the day, I think it was probably like around 6, 5.30, 6, I'm not really sure, Snap Clan, let a bitch know what time it was, but I feel like it was like 6, 7 o'clock or something like that when I did like the last check-in and showed you guys like, oh, I've been wearing this all day. Um, and it's still on my lips. Like it still left a little bit of a stain on my lips. It still left color to my lips. So as far as wear time goes, the wear time is awesome. I do really like them. 
Um, I would probably not buy any more unless he came out with subsidiaries of his liquid lipsticks. Like unless he came out with Gemini or Androgyny or Scorpio in lipstick form, I probably won't be buying any more. Um, just because I feel like I can get something just as similar at the drugstore um, unless it's a color that's undupable. Do you know what I mean? As far as formula and wear time go, I can get something super similar at the drugstore. But if he comes out with androgyny and Scorpio and shit like that, then I probably will buy more. But other than that, I probably won't spend my money on them. So that is it. That's what's up. Those are my thoughts. Did you guys buy any of these? Let me know in the comments because y'all know I love talking to you in the comments. And I think that's it. I think I got it all. If I forgot anything, let me know in the comments and I will answer your comment to the best of my ability. So that's it. That's what's up. That's it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to let's follow me on all my social media and things and stuff over here and i will catch you guys in my next one peace